You might think of it as one small step for technology, one giant step for Muni. At least, that's what officials hoped today when they introduced a new high-tech satellite system to track the arguably low-tech Muni buses. The Chronicle's Phil Mateer has the story. You know, sometimes the worst part about waiting for a Muni bus is wondering whether or not it's going to come, or when it's going to come. And that's why today, San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown and the high-tech folks over at Next Bus in Emeryville put together a little program that they hope is going to change that in San Francisco. It's called Next Bus, and it's a satellite global positioning system that, well, let's just let the techie explain. There's uh, GPS receivers that we've installed on the top of each bus. There's a little white bump on the top. That tells the bus where in the city it is. A radio and the internet then tell our computer. So this is a map of the city of San Francisco showing where all of the buses on the 22 Fillmore are, line are right at this very moment. It also broadcasts the results to bus stops along the route, so everybody knows how long they have to wait. And that was good enough news for Mayor Willie Brown and everyone to hold a big press conference to launch the program. For as Muni manager Michael Burns explained to us, well, it will address the, the single most asked question that I have received since I've been here, which is, when's the next bus coming? From the fastest growing news station in Northern California, News Channel 11 at 6 starts now. Well, still ahead tonight, a computer that helps commuters catch a ride. See how one Bay Area city is getting more money for technology that lets you know exactly how close your train or bus is as you head out the door. Well, on our cold rainy day like today, there's almost nothing worse than having to wait at a bus stop for the next bus that never seems to come. A new global positioning system is headed to a bus stop in San Francisco near you, and it may help minimize your wait. If you were looking to get on the 22 bus in San Francisco this morning and you didn't want to wait out in the cold, you could have hopped on the web to see exactly what time your bus was going to get to your stop. This is nextbus.com. It's a new global positioning system that Muni has tested out. Now, the city has given Muni almost $10 million to install it on every single bus in San Francisco. So you could check for when your transit vehicle is coming, you know, from leaving the office. So you can time your trip from leaving the office. But signs on the bus stops are also a part of a new system. And those signs are a hit on Fillmore Street. It's true. It's helpful. But I don't know if it's true. We'll see if it comes in one minute. It worked. <laughs> Here it is. Next bus is part of Measure B, which voters passed back in 1999. That initiative mandated Muni to run its buses on time and improve rider satisfaction. From KGW, where the news comes first. This is Northwest News Channel 8 at 11. New technology on Portland streetcars will soon make life a lot easier for commuters. It's called Next Bus. It's a global positioning system where satellites keep tabs on each streetcar and calculate its arrival time. A digital reader board at each stop then announces those arrivals and delays. The city's trying to take the guessing out of riding streetcars. You know, we're living in such a fast-paced world, and every minute these days is precious. And the last thing um, we want are our valuable transit riders getting impatient. You'll have to wait until March, though, before the GPS system is said to be reliable. The software needs a little tweaking, but after that, you'll be able to monitor streetcar arrival times on the Internet as well. Well, as I mentioned before the break, technology is changing the way America's public transportation systems operate. TechLive's Gary Nuremberg takes a look at one of the most forward-looking transit systems. It's in Washington, D.C. Commuters in suburban Washington, D.C. can check the posted schedule to find out what time the next bus is supposed to arrive. But now a global positioning satellite feeds this digital sign to let them know exactly how long it will be. I think it's a good concept. Some people prefer to see things digitally or, you know, in that bright red color. Check the transit agency's website and you can see exactly where the bus is on the 38B route and then decide how long you can stay in your office. 
if I know it's going to be here in 40 minutes, I can walk up to the mall and maybe grab something to eat or just do a little shopping. Live from Old City, Philadelphia, you're watching the Fox Morning News. Well, there's a new way to get around town, and you won't have to worry about parking. The City Avenue Regional Transit debuted yesterday at the Ballot Kenwood Shopping Center. The service is called CART for short. It runs from Overbrook Train Station on City Avenue to Main Street in Maniunk. A state grant made CART a reality. The service aims to cut back on pollution and congestion on local roads. This is ABC7 Los Angeles. Now, David Ono, Alan Leva, and Johnny Mountain with Eyewitness News this morning at 5.30. Catching the bus just got easier in Glendale. The city has implemented a new system that tells riders when the next bus will arrive at a particular stop. The signs are along Brand Boulevard in Glendale. The Beeline buses are now equipped with GPS receivers to track their whereabouts, the schedules, and when each bus will stop where will also be available on wireless handheld systems. That's just one more thing to confuse me.